Welcome to the Flip Classroom. This is video number seven. We we'll have some helpers today. We're covering two, two problems, so get comfortable and get your comfy comp book out. And these are two from your assignment today, so if you add those to your assignment, you'll be that much more ahead. Write them on another piece of paper if you must and bring it with you. All right, I have the helpers and they're going to read the pro first problem. Go ahead. Number 10, tan x plus square root 3 equals 0. Very good. Come work up here. Let me introduce you. This is Kyle. And Kyle, how old are you? I'm 10 and I'm her grandson. <laughs> okay, what do you like to do? I like to play sports. All right, thank you. All right. In order to solve this, you'll see that it's just like algebra, except the unknown now has a trig function hooked onto it, which it cannot be separated from. So we're going to solve that by isolating tan x. The square root of 3 moves to the other side, and that is all the algebraic manipulation we do with it. So now we look on the unit circle, and I believe when I looked at your sh over your shoulders today that, that you didn't have this one right. So let's see what happened with this one. Tangent of x has to equal negative square root of 3. On the unit circle, you're looking for the second coordinate divided by the first to give you negative square root of 3. I have no and, idea what that means. <laughs> well, we do, don't we, class? All right, let's look at 2 pi over 3. On the unit circle, 2 pi over 3 appears about right there. And if you look at it, it's negative one-half, the short guy, and then the long guy. So when I divide this by this, you'll see the twos cross out, and it does leave you square root of three over negative one, or negative square root of three. So again, that radian measure was two pi over three. All right. So the next uh, spot that that happens on the unit circle appears down here at 5 pi over 3. And because here we go over the short and down the long. And it's just like this one except the signs, uh, the SIGNs are different. But when you divide this by this, it still is negative. The twos cancel and you do get back to that. So we get... Um, what was the radian major? 5 pi over 3. Come on, people. I'm in 5th grade. <laughs> All right. You just advanced to grade 10. All right. Now we have someone to give you some advice without these answers. Go ahead. Don't forget there are an infinitude of answers. All right. Very good. There are an infinitude of answers. Let me introduce you to, this is Jessica. Hi. And would you tell me how old you are? I'm seven. And what do you like to do? Art. Art. Okay. Thank you. All right. So. She's my sister. <laughs> 2 pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3 are exactly across from one another and on the unit circle. So we can grab the infinitude of spins by adding pi radians because they are half a circle away from each other. Pi n, and everyone knows what n means. All right, that's the, uh, the short way. Actually, I'm sorry, 2 pi 3 plus pi n is really all we need, isn't it? Because look how 2, if we're here at 2 pi over 3 and we add pi n re and repeatedly, we will generate these answers into infinitude. All right, so that is all we need for number 10. Is that what you got? It seems to me that you did it. All right. Confusing. No, it's clear as can be. All right, I need just the next one, Red. <laughs> He's trying to find the <laughs> All right, you ready to read the next one? The next one. How are we doing for time? Sign. I lost the pen. Sign X. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sign what number was this one? X. Uh, number 13. All right, go ahead. Sign X. I got it. Times. Uh huh. Sign X plus one. All right. It equals zero. No. I don't think I. I think it does equal zero. 
All right, so what I saw, I think you were just starting this one in class, and I was hoping to catch you before you started it. When it's in its factored form like this, you want to leave it just like this. You do not want to distribute it. You want to, the, you want to factor it. Later, I'll give you ones that aren't factored, and you have to make it look like this. But today, we're just going to take it in its factored form. So we take, just like in the algebra, when it's factored and they equal zero, the only way two things can multiply to give you zero is if the first one is zero, or the second, or both. So I set each of them equal to zero and solve. All right, looks like a lot of monkey math here. Where is the second coordinate on the unit circle equal to zero? Well, that happens at zero. Sine of x equals, let me check my unit circle. The second coordinate is zero at zero. And again, it appears at pi radians. And then over here, sine x equals negative 1. So where on the unit circle is there a value where the second coordinate is negative 1? It's at 3 pi over 2. So with 0 pi and 3 pi over 2, I have my answers. 0 pi and 3 pi over 2. So let me draw those, and Jess, could you give them your advice again about the infini infinitude? Back over to Jess, she has some advice for you. Don't forget there are an infinitude of answers. Okay. All right. So I marked on the unit circle the answers that we came up with, 0, pi, and 3 pi over 2. So how can we gen generate the infinitude of answers that Jess commanded us to do? Well, it, you can see that this one can be generated, and again and again, by adding how many radians? Pi radians. So I can say 0 plus pi n radians, and that will get me all of these. But 0 plus is not cool to write, so we'll just call it pi n. Because we know everyone knows that n, when n is 0, that will generate 0. When n is 1, it'll generate pi. When n is 2, it'll be back to 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, and on into infinity. So pi n. I didn't know math had so many pi's. <laughs> it does. has a lot of them. And lastly, we have 3 pi, 3 halves pi. And that cannot be combined with these two because they're not in a rhythmic pattern like we're looking for. So the best thing we can do to generate the next one and the next one is just to add 2 pi n to 3 pi, uh, 3 pi over 2. All right? So that gives us a little head start on our work tomorrow. And Liam has some advice for you. Okay. Do you work well? All right, come back on the camera. Tell me your name. I'm Liam and I'm nine. And what do you like to do? I like to play sports just like my brother. All right, thank you Liam for your help. We're all homeschooled. <laughs> all right, uh, I'd like Jessen. Can you run down and just show them Jessen and Anna real quick? And then we'll, that's all for me. I want you to see the other two. They're somewhere in the house. So we're gonna Carl, do you want to take it? Do you want to do it? We're going to go catch them on camera. I hope we're not running over time. No, no, we have a minute. You have a minute, have a minute, minute to minute. find them. Over here. Come on, quick. Just real quick. Okay. Hi, this bye. Is, this is my brother, Gavin. He's really annoying. And this is my little sister, Anna. Anna, say hi. Hi. Okay. Um, And I love my family. And as I said, we're, on home, we're all homeschooled. Uh, let's stop.